How's it going, y'all? Back with another page. This one is page 18. It's chapter 3. This page, after the last one, where Celeste was accosted by a vestige of the blood of fruit, not the blood of fruit herself, but one of its like vestigial members, whatever you want to relate that to. It's more like a echo of what they are. After like pushing it away on this page, Celeste gets a moment to catch her breath, but only for a moment. But she hears screams off in the distance. Normally it would be smart to just cut and run and go back to the ship, but now that she knows the blood of fruit is involved somehow, she can't help but to just wring out her any pettiness and just see if she can ruin her day a little bit more and save a couple lives. That's more of a afterthought. But one thing is to less motivated by, just like myself, is spite and pettiness. You know something about myself? I was pescatarian for two years just because one of my friends said I couldn't do it. Now, mind you, it was only supposed to last like a month, six months at most. But with strong enough spite, I lasted for two years. And now I'm. I've gotten back into the habit of just eating regular meat. I can't eat bacon or nothing. It don't taste the same like it did before I was pescatarian. It's just one of the things that got ruined for me. So for Alex, you're watching this, screw you. But that all jokes aside, one thing that fuels Celeste is spite and pettiness. One of the aspects I carry over from myself when it comes down to her personality. I've been looking to experiment more with inking styles and inking brushes as I'm doing the latter half of this chapter. I recently purchased some new, a brush pack that pertains to locks, braids, and all that from Vigalia. Gotta hope I'm saying her name right, but I'm gonna see how those work with my style as it pertains to like doing Celeste here and all the other characters because locks can go one way or another as opposed to like different hairstyles and textures so that's neither here nor there it's more something I gotta play with in my own time so far I'm liking it stay tuned for future updates and my endeavors to ease up on the process turn these pages out faster than I've been doing also by the time you're watching this more likely than not there will be more Elden Ring art on the way because after seeing that DLC I am aspired spurned even whatever you, it's the, the hype was already there but now it's just above and beyond I got my own theories and ideas because a couple of days ago I planned an Elden Ring on PS5 like the first ending I got was Ronnie's ending then to get the platinum I did I was doing a trophy grind hunt and I just got the basic Elden Lord Elden for my second playthrough and for my last one I set it up to get like the the bad ending of the like six or so endings that are in the game the chaos frizzy flame ending and oh my god I, of all the endings I low-key want that one to be canon because it sets it up perfectly for like a sequel to happen where you're e either could be Melina or following Melina because your character turns on the two fingers not just the two fingers but her as well and becomes the Lord of Chaos which is a whole can of worms in itself and there are videos that could explain it better than me if you ever heard of Miss Chalice or Vadivitya but yeah Expo expect more of that 
because I will not let up. That's and the irony is that was my 15th platinum trophy. So it's up there in terms of one of my favorite games of all times, and also my first real Souls Born games that I actually beat. Now I'm just moving on to, I guess. Sekiro or Bloodborne let me know down in the comments before the DLC because we got till June for that to drop so I plan on clearing out my backlog now that that's out the way off my mind into I won't say better things but more like continuing on where I should have been finished but that's just me rambling as you can see, we're nearing the end of the process. In terms of the rendering goes. Good old lasso tool, multiply layers, shading, lighting, the works. That, oh God, that push and pull effect. Seeing what goes where, what makes the whole composition pop. You know the drill by now. I'm not really a I don't want to be a no tutorial artist because I think there's enough of those out there. I just get on here and ramble, talk about whatever on my mind or about my story. But we're near the end of this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay riding and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.